Scott Pro Show. Episode number two. Deuce. 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 Yeah. Do we have an intro song yet? Not yet. We should get one. <laughs> what? Uh, we right. could sing or something like or that. Or flute. Yeah. We could do a flute. <laughs> do like yeah, that. we'll work on that. Okay, we'll work on that. Maybe we do have an intro song by Dow. I don't know. We haven't really edited the video yet. That's so. up to you. I guess it's up to you. Yeah. Okay. So we might have an intro song. What did you think of our intro song? Let us know in the comments. Anyways. Give us some feedback. Yeah, feedback. At our email address here. <laughs> okay, anyways, hey, on to the show. Yeah. Uh, today, what are we doing today? Uh, we're going to talk about how to connect your Sky Pro to your smartphone. Yes, so the first time you get your Sky Pro, it's going to look like this. And you're going to need to connect it to your mobile device or your tablet uh, via Bluetooth wirelessly. So it's a pretty simple process. Let's walk through it. Uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure your Sky Pro is out of its case. And you're going to jump into the settings here. Then we're going to go into Bluetooth, and we want to make sure the Bluetooth is on. So we'll make sure it's on. And then under Devices, the Sky Pro should appear. So Josh, this is your Sky Pro. It says yep. Sky Phone 5JF. I don't know what that means, but... It's code. Code. So the first time you get your Sky Pro, you want to pair it. So you tap on that to pair it, and it's going to think about it for a little while. There we go. It looks like it's unsuccessful again. What's... Oh, no, it's connected. There we go. So when Bam. it's properly connected... It says connected okay, on there. Okay, that was easy. Yeah, and that's just the first time that you get your Sky Pro. You do that once, yeah. handshake process. Now your phone and your Sky Pro, they know each other. They're best friends. Next time they see each other, they don't need any introductory. All right, take it out of the case, pair it. It's good to go. That's right. Now you can launch your Sky Pro app that you've downloaded from the App Store right here. Boom. And it's ready to go. Yeah. Awesome, that was easy. It is pretty easy. All right, yeah. ready, ready to go practice, ready to go see, groove, and improve. That's right, yeah, that's right, absolutely. If I'm an instructor, can I pair multiple devices? Absolutely, that's a great question, and it's a huge use case that we've had with a lot of customers. So if you're an instructor, you can pair multiple SkyPros to your mobile device at yeah. once, and then once you're in the SkyPro app, you can actually select between which different SkyPro you'd like to currently bring the swings in from. That's really cool. Yeah, yeah, it's great. So if you're an instructor, let's say you're, you're out on the golf course and you've got a bunch of your students on the driving range, each one of them has a Sky Pro. You can choose while you're in the app, you walk up behind them and you choose which one they are and you'll automatically bring the swings in from them. Um, and it'll, we'll show you kind of how it, it sanctions them off into different sections. So yeah. yeah, as an instructor, that's an invaluable tool to be able to get that data on the range that without it, mm -hmm. um, I'm just not privy to. Exactly. Yeah, it's cool. So what if I have trouble connecting? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, Bluetooth can be a little finicky on some of the mobile devices, with some of the op new operating systems coming out. So if you're having trouble, um, there's a couple things you can do to ensure Bluetooth connectivity is at its at its prime. The first is we'll ask you to reset your device. Um, so to do that, you hold down this button up here, and then hit slide to power off, and that'll reset that. So once you cycle that off, give it another try, and see what happens. The second thing we ask you to do is actually to reset your SkyPro itself. And the best way to intentionally reset your SkyPro is to place it in the smart charge case that it comes with, just like that, and close the lid for five seconds. Um, that'll actually reset the hardware, um, and when you pull it back out, uh, then give it a try and see if you can... That's why it's called smart. Yeah, smart charge case. It's one of the reasons. <laughs> We're going to talk about that, why it's smart. We'll talk about that. But yeah, uh, and that'll give you the best chance to uh, connect to it via Bluetooth at that point. So. Yeah. So that's it. I think that's pretty much it for this episode thing. The Sky Pro Show. The Sky Pro Show, episode two. Episode two. Done. In the can. Done. See you next time. Next time.